Hey guys, in today's episode we get a cryptic hint about the December update, the community is disappointed at the Black Friday offers, and the World Finals are ever so closer. All that and more in today's episode of Clash World. Hey guys, it's Lutheran here, and welcome back to another episode of Clash Worlds. In this weekly show, we take a look at the most recent announcements from the Clash Royale team, the hottest topics in CR Esports, as well as what's going on in the community. Then, we'll finish off the episode by breaking down the meta and featuring my off-meta deck of the week. If you're enjoying Clash Worlds, then please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell to get notified of every new video that comes out. Also, check me out on Twitter. I'm pretty active on there, so link will be in the description. And with that out of the way, let's get right into the first section, New in the Arena. New in the arena is where we find out about what the Supercell team has been up to this past week. This week we've got several new Thanksgiving themed things that have arrived in game. The first one is a new Black Friday draft challenge. I honestly really enjoyed playing in this as draft is just honestly my favorite game mode. The rewards are also really good so this was definitely a really solid challenge. Keep these coming Supercell. Next up, there have also been several new emotes. I honestly like most of the emotes, except I think they could have done a lot better with the baby dragon and the minion ones. Also, there have been Black Friday offers on Friday, celebrating Thanksgiving, but honestly, they were just terrible and not Black Friday-like at all. I'll touch on this topic again later in the community section of this episode. However, for those of you who are disappointed, Opega Studios has leaked a Cyber Monday offer that will be coming in game. Hopefully this can be, you know, kind of a redemption for those crappy offers cause like, they seriously have to address this offer issue. Cause it's not just this Black Friday, offers in the past have pretty much absolutely sucked. I mean, see yourself, you can't just constantly be ignoring this issue, at least let us know why you can't include things like gems and offers, or let us know why why you can never go above two times in value, while in games like Clash of Clans, free things like star bonuses have been boosted five times. It just doesn't make any sense. Also, Snowball is getting a buff confirmed in December. As this reply from Drew on the Reddit says, it's getting a buff next update. In addition, stealing trades will also be addressed in a December update. On this Reddit post by Ravelord Child complaining about his stolen trade, Tim replied, we got you, next update. And finally, we got a very interesting hint that has been released on the Clash Royale Twitter about the December update. In this tweet asking for new December update hints, Clash Royale replied with a star. Now this could honestly mean anything and I really don't know what it could mean. What do you guys think this star can mean? Be sure to let me know in the comments section below. Now that's gonna do it for New in the Arena, it's time to check out the esports update. The Esports Update is a segment where we take a look at the new and rising pro players as well as recent esports competitions. The Clash Royale World Finals are now just 6 short days away. 6 days? That's crazy. Now while not much has happened on the esports side of things, we've got a sick World Finals trailer. Let's play a short clip. Oh man, am I excited. Now that we're caught up with the most recent esports news, let's check out the rising rumors. First things first, the community isn't so happy with the Black Friday deals, me included. Oxlet here says, stayed up to 2am for this, yikes. Here's another Reddit post that pretty much sums it up. I was legit super excited for the deal today. The deals have actually been pretty bad over the past year or two, and I'm a regular spender. I buy basically every single deal that comes out. I have all the emotes. I saw the posts about the Black Friday deals, and I was legit excited. I checked my bank account and figured I could spend around 150 today, and I'd still be okay with it. Then the deals came, and they were legit the worst deals that I had ever seen from this game. And I've been playing the game since release. They are worse than the normal monthly deals that we get, and even the new emotes suck. And I honestly could not agree more with this statement. Alright, well, <laughs> on a more funnier note, here's something cool you can do with the cool new emotes. Now that we've covered the trending topics in the community, let's go ahead and break down the meta. This meta has been dominated by Barbarrel, Battle Ram, E-Drag, and Miner. 
Three Musketeers is probably the top archetype in this meta, and it's honestly something probably that needs to be, you know, kind of balanced in the December update. Also, Barb Hunt decks are popping up here and there, usually paired up with Three Musketeers, and other than that, you've got Golem Beatdown and Becca Bridge Band being the other kind of two main archetypes in this meta. So that's the meta for you guys, and now let's check out the off-meta deck of the week. That's right, in each Classroom episode, we're going to be featuring one off-meta deck that works in the current meta. This week's deck was submitted by Shoal Khan, and it's a Giant Balloon deck. Giant Balloon hasn't really been seen anywhere in the meta game recently, so it's always cool to see such an OG combo work. Now you want to start more passively with this deck, as Ice Wizard, Nado, and Mega Minion are a super solid defensive combination, and place your balloon when your opponent's air counters are out of cycle. That's pretty much it, and with that out of the way, let's get right into a battle. Alright, so looks like this battle is going to be against Zeus uh, from the clan Sem Do here. So good luck to this guy, and starting off this match, of course, we're going to be a little bit more passive, see if this guy wants to make the first move. Looks like he's going to go with a Royal Ghost right at the bridge so of course we'll just go ahead and surround that with goblins and that'll go ahead and probably take that out without taking any damage onto the tower hopefully the tower takes it out mm, okay all right looks like we do take it out uh, so anyways here he's gonna go with musketeer in the back we'll go in here with an ice wizard uh get ready with our fireball uh, if we do have to take that out and here we're just gonna go ahead and fireball out that magic archer now here we go, the Musketeer and the Ice Wizard are pretty much just going to do nothing right there. And here, let's go with the Tornado and, ooh, okay, alright, I was not ready for those bats. Uh, let's actually go with the Mega Minion and just go ahead and swipe that down. And uh, we're going to take a lot of damage right there, but hey, you know what? We got an activated King's Tower, so that's all that really matters. We didn't take too much damage. I mean, sure, we took a lot, but I mean... It, uh, 1543 damage is definitely something that's negligible. So anyways here, let's go with the giant to pull everything opposite lane. And oh no, we missed the royal ghost. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. We even screwed up our goblins. Okay, that's definitely really, really bad. We screwed up big time right there. And oh man, our tower is already down to 679. But that's okay. Especially uh, since we're using balloon. Balloon is something that like you really only need one big push to go ahead and just dominate with. So really only one balloon connection or two will take that tower for us so anyways here we're just gonna go ahead get our mega minion down onto that miner right there go ahead and take that out hopefully we don't take any damage from those bats looks like we won't and uh, we can just go ahead uh actually no we're not gonna follow up with a balloon why because i know that he has his musketeer and cycle see if i had placed that balloon the musketeer would have absolutely demolished my stuff so um yeah now that his musketeer is out of cycle let's actually go with a balloon um because I know that his musketeer is his main kind of air counter. Meanwhile, we're going to go with our giant to tank. And look at that full health balloon is connecting onto that tower. He's going to go with a magic archer, but that's a little too late. His tower is taking two balloon hits. And that's going to take that tower all the way down to 666 hit points. So here, let's just go ahead and quickly log out all that stuff right there. Goodbye. Let's go ahead and get our goblins down and go ahead and tank. And we can just go ahead and ignore that magic archer and follow up with another balloon. Because he used his musketeer again. Here, let's predictive NATO onto those bats. Looks like... Like we're gonna actually predict those bats that was absolutely amazing let's go ahead and follow up with a giant mega minion push right there let's go ahead and try and get a fireball onto that magic archer as soon as we can so quickly log out the skeleton army now let's go ahead and get our fireball onto the magic archer he's gonna try and take that tower but let's go with goblins we're gonna stop that second tower is going down with 14 seconds left there's absolutely nothing this guy can do let's just go ahead right here and just kind of wait it out here let's go with a giant and a balloon just try and go for a three crown i know it's not gonna happen but look at that absolutely absolutely dominating two crown victory against a P.E.K.K.A deck and as you know P.E.K.K.A generally does really well against giants so there we go just showing you guys how effective this deck can be i definitely recommend you guys give this deck a try as you know giant balloon is just a combination that you don't really see and you don't really play with and it's it was honestly really really fun trying this deck out if you want to submit your own deck to be featured feel free to leave it in the comment section below but unfortunately guys that's all i've got time for in today's video if you enjoyed please leave a like down below as well as a subscription to my channel and as always this is Melinda Ray, and i'm Signing off. See you guys next time.